In this video, I will show you how I and my team made email campaigns for one week and we got four premium clients with this email sequence, which we did in four days. So we send out, this is Monday, we send out two emails, next day we send out two, Wednesday we send one, and the last day, we was Thursday, we send out three emails and we got four clients. And let me show you how it looked, what it was, and how you can do it maybe for yourself if you like it. So, hi, my name is Nick. I have a company called NJ Media where we help businesses grow and scale to the next level with paid ads. So let me show you what we did. So, we have an email list of 1,700 uh, emails. These people are who saw an ad and they registered for our VSL, our landing page, to see a video training or now we call it a masterclass. For these people, we made an offer in these email sequences. The offer was to book a call, book a call. These emails were all about the call. So book a call, book a call. The structure of these emails in general, and I will do it the concise way, the, the short and simple way. It was basically about a problem. It was about a solution. Then we said you can book a call. And then we listed out all of the benefits of the call. Let me give an example. In this call, we will figure out what's the bottleneck in your business and show you what you could do to unlock new potential. That's one example. The second example, we will give you the client acquisition calculator so you can precisely know how much it costs for you to get new clients with paid ads and etc. something like this. Additionally, we gave them bonuses. If they sign up, and these were also, I think, three. So if they sign up for a call, they will also get these bonuses. At the end of the email, there was also this notion about limited time. So that this offer, which we send here, finishes at this time. So this was the last email and it said one hour left. So these were the emails we sent to the client. From those emails, we got around 28 bookings. So 28 people booked a call from these 1,700 people in the list. From those people, I this is something I'm not 100% sure. So around 20 people actually met us and four of them bought. And they bought for a product which was around 4K. So some of them paid payment plans, some of them paid in full, but the product was 4K. So this is what it ended in a result. What I can tell you, it's very important to not overdo this. I would say in my experience, you could do it once a quarter. So one time every three months, even maybe more. But this is what the person who helped me to do this recommended to me. So we also outsourced some of this help. Usually what we do and what we send to our list is we send from one to three emails, usually. So this was a lot, right? You can see it's five, six, seven, eight, almost nine emails. So we send one to three per month, like normally. And what we send, we send YouTube content, we send some story, we send client review or some results from something. So this is what we basically send. And sometimes we sell, uh, send uh, like an offer, like the book a call. That's what we basically do. All of these emails were basically talking about the problem, a solution, book a call, bonuses about the call, and it's a limited time. And also in these emails, we introduced our clients, successes and what they came to fix or what they, what were they struggling with and how did their life change when they found the solution that we're actually selling. Here is an example, a screenshot of the open rates. So the open rates we had was around 50%, so which is really good, right? So 50% of those people actually opened the emails. Here you can see, here you can see one example of the email. So here you can see how we introduced one of our clients. So here you can see it. I, what is key and what is important? In these emails, it's very important for you to sell the call, in my experience. I would say you have to sell the call in the email, not sell the service because we also have the call and then we sell the service. Of course, the call is related about the service, but in the emails, we sell the call. The same way how if you run ads, you would sell the landing page or you would sell the click that they need to click to go to the next stage, like add landing page. The landing page goal is to sell the opt-in. The video goal or the material goal or, or whatever you have is the goal is to do the next step. And then again, and again, and again, you just want to sell the next thing, the next immediate action that they have to do. 
an email, it's usually the click or book a call. Like that's what I would recommend in my experience. You might be thinking, oh my God, I cannot do it so much time. The reality is you could do this in one day. Like write all of these out in one day. The return on this, in my case, it was huge. I also took one day to publish them, one day to talk about the person who helped me. And I think that person did it in one day. I didn't do it myself, so we outsourced to make the emails. But I think you could do it in a in day. So you could leverage your day, one day to make this. You, you schedule it with a software like ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, or other software. You schedule it, done. And you might get like two, four, five, or even more clients. That, is it worth it as a CEO? I would say yes, it's worth it. How big of a list should you have to actually do it? In my ex I would say if you have 500 plus contacts in your email, I would do it. It's enough to do it. If you have even more, more reasons to do it. I hope this was helpful. So leave a like, a share, a thumbs up, or a comment. Uh, let me think what you, know, what you think about the video. See you in the next vid. Stay sharp. Do email because it works. It still works. It's an old, old method, but it still works. So stay sharp and stay successful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.